Hello and welcome to this special episode as we launch the third edition of the ASL NDTV Save Our Tigers campaign. When we first began this campaign, there were only 1,411 tigers left in India. And all the tigers in places like Sariska and Panna had been wiped out now. Some small steps, a long way to go, of course, but the census puts the tiger number at 1,706 now. And there are tigers, once again, in Sariska and in Panna. So what we are really here to do in the, in the third edition of the ASL NDTV Save Our Tigers campaign is come up with the agenda. What is it that we should focus on this year? You will recall that when we started this entire campaign, we sat in a room just like this, and we came up with six items that we thought all politicians should be asked to follow. If we just do this, it will start to make a dent in solving the problems of, of saving our tiger. And now, today, by the end of this one-hour program, let's try and come up with other items on the list. Where is it that we need to focus on right now? And let me welcome the absolutely fantastic panel that we've got with us. Belinda Wright of WPSI has been fighting to save the tiger now, Belinda, for years and years, decades, actually. So it's great to have you with us. Anupam Vasudev, the CMO of ASL, is, uh, of course, our partner in, in the campaign. And we're going to get you to talk about why we thought of this and, and wanted to, wanted to, to uh, uh, proceed with this. Uh, Dr. K. Ramesh from the WII, it's great to have you with us uh, as well. And Mr. S.P. Yadav the ADIG of the NTCA, that's the National Tiger Conservation Authority, which has been doing really great work in this entire field. So it's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Anish Andheria of WCT, who is the person, you know, we've been raising a lot of money uh, for saving the tiger. It all eventually funnels into some great work that he's been doing. Bittu Segal, Sanctuary Asia, a knowledge partner in this, and one of the key people who's been driving this entire uh, initiative. And Bittu, I'm, I'm going to get you to talk in just a couple of minutes about something which even two years or three years later, we keep getting asked, why are you saving the tiger? Why are you saving the tiger when there are other so many problems to deal with? And they, that is a crucial question. We must answer it. And I'm going to get you to do that in just a couple of minutes. But before that, if we can just quickly look back at the campaign so far, here are some of the highlights of the last two editions of this campaign. In the first year of the NDTV ASL Save Our Tigers campaign, we took a list of demands to the chief ministers of Tiger States. They were asked to ensure better protection for the big cats as well as steps to reduce conflict around Tiger Park. No one can go to the front of the SAM Tiger. In Carvet Park, I will give it to the SAM Tiger. The campaign finale is a twelve-hour telethon brought the country's biggest superstar and the best-known tiger conservationist together on the same platform. Every rupee that we raise, he will match that with another rupee. 31 specially designed rapid response units sent to tiger parks across the country. Fitted with equipment like tranquilizer kits, tents, binoculars and a GPS system to help the forest department deal with conflict situations around the park. During year two of the Save Our Tigers campaign, we focus on what had changed and what had been achieved. Rapid response units and they are fairly well equipped now. During the grand finale telethon, we raised nearly six crore. This time, the money was used to fund Tiger Defence units. These not only consisted of equipment, but also training, as well as a collaboration with NGOs working for Tiger Conservation. The NDTV SL Save Our Tigers campaign has struck a chord through the country, with school children, citizens and leaders supporting the cause. But it's now time for the next stage. Tigers are irreplaceable, and to save the tiger is to save ourselves. But in addition to all of that, in addition to what the money was used for and in addition to actually talking to the politicians and getting them to make a pledge, the other thing which really happened was awareness. And that's where I'd like to introduce the real stars of this entire campaign. We have a whole bunch of kids out here uh, with us in, in, the, in the audience right now. And the kids for Tigers and so many hundreds of thousands of children across the country have really been leading this campaign. And that awareness has been something that's been really important. Signatures campaigns which we have then taken to the government and to the Prime Minister. 
Anupam, can I just uh, jump in on the campaign itself? Um, what were the main reasons why an initiative like this is, uh, has been important? Tiger is top of the food chain. And if the tiger maintains the ecological balance, if the tiger is there, it's protected, it exists, that means all is well. If the tigers are, are declining, it means things, something is wrong and we are losing out uh, on, on a sustainable economy and their things are going to go bad, from bad to worse. So we felt it's important for people to start believing in that concept and that's why the whole campaign was launched for building a sustainable society for us as an organization. That leads us to the, that, that second question. I mean, I think Anupam answered it partly that tigers the, at, the, at the pinnacle of the food chain. So if you, if you protect the tiger, you end up protecting everything else as well. Yep. Is, that, is that one of the ways of looking at this? The most direct way we could put it is the way you put it. These are the real reasons why we would save the tiger. One, this will feed our dams, which feed our agriculture, which feed our power. Two, 75% of our cities get their water supply from here. Which civilization would ruin its own water supply? Three, the fact is that right now, the tiger's habitat is being used brutally to get blips in the economic radar going up. Minor little blip in GDP. But the long-term economic cost to this is felt amongst the millions of people. So the floods, right now in the last 30, 40 days, we've had nearly 30 to 40 suicides, farmer suicides, because climate change has stepped in. These forests moderate climate. I could go on and I could go on, but there's also one other reason. The tiger is the spirit of this nation. If the world knows India, Taj Mahal is a very minor asset that we have. The tiger, when we did a survey in Anchorage in Alaska, 40% of the kids said their favorite animal was the tiger. Now imagine, this is in the land of the polar bear. So yeah. I would say we should be proud of what we're doing. There's a very strong economic rationale. There's a very strong social rationale. And the rest of us, when we sit together, whether it's from NTCA or WCT or WPSI or what yeah. SL is doing, what we're essentially doing is, kids, for you guys, we're trying to see that my generation does not colonize your generation. We have to live well by ourselves. And right. Can I just reason. ask you, I mean, though that's some of the rationale, but when you have, um, you know, when you're going and talking to ministers, when you're talking to the government, when you're saying, can somebody in positions of power pay attention to this problem? Do they listen to you at the end of the day? Do they say, you know, how many votes does a tiger have? Uh, frankly speaking, uh, tiger is our national animal and the government of India provides a, lo a lot of funding support as well as emphasis on tiger conservation. Uh, the f on 1st April 1973, the Project Tiger was launched in Corbett Tiger Reserve. So today is a kind of anniversary of Project Tiger. And we, when we started it, uh, we started it with only nine tiger reserves. But now you must see that now the number has gone up to 44 tiger reserves. And the coverage of Project Tiger has gone uh, up to approximately 77,000 square kilometers of area. Once any area, national park or sanctuary is provided status of uh, Tiger Reserve, then it gets a lot of protection under the Wildlife Protection Act. Okay.